with difficult things, um, took her own life in her 40s. Are there other prayer concerns you have today? Yeah, the family of Carol McIntyre, who passed away last week. And then this is the World Day of uh, Reckoning uh, Parkinson's, which uh, Denise and Greg are certainly aware of. Dread, yes. who passed away? Carol McIntyre. She did? Yes. Oh yes. my gosh. Yeah. It, I believe it was, she was in the essential health in Virginia. Oh. I haven't talked to Lloyd, but yes. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Anybody else? Oh, All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer then. Your action in history reaches its climax at Easter, O oh God. At Easter you show that life abundantly is what you offer and that it is all that you will tolerate. At Easter you make transparent your urgency for life and its capacity to conquer death. Today you show that you are in charge and even the sin of humanity is not threatening to you. Today you are the Lord of Lords, Sovereign of Sovereigns. At Easter, Alleluia is the way we shout your name. You are who you are. You are who you will be. You are in charge of us and of history and of the great powers. Your activity, in your activity, you, we know you. And then teach each one of us, O oh God, how to be active on your behalf. Thank you for the life achieved in the resurrection. We praise you. We praise the resurrected one. We pray for the world around us, for those helping with those seriously ill with the pandemic, with those overworked, with those trying to help and administer the vaccines. For those dealing with loss of so many loved ones, with those that are afraid, with those that have needs that we that you know of, we pray for the world as it deals with this in many different ways in different countries. We pray your guidance. We pray for peace in our world. We know there's still tensions and threats of nuclear things and people wanting power struggles and to overpower others. We thank you that you are interceding, hopefully, that you can soften the hardness of hearts that many people have. For the divisions in our country over different beliefs, be with our leaders and give them some wisdom in the decisions they make. Turn hatred into care for others. We pray for Peggy as she starts treatments and Keith continues to. We pray thankful that Al is doing well. We pray for those in the assisted living communities, Carol and Jack, Carol and George, Mona and Carol. Their needs are met, they're comfortable, they're safe. Be with them. We pray for those suffering the loss of loved ones, for the family of Carol McIntyre and the fact the family of Jennifer Jo Winger. May you surround them with your comforting arms, with the memories and the love they have for the questions they have. We pray for others in our hearts and minds that need your care, for remembering those who deal with Parkinson's and the day of remembrance too. For many people that have needs, Lord, we pray to you. We give thanks that you hear our prayers. We ask you to be with those, our loved ones, our friends, to be with you and to hear your word of love this day, and to know that you are there for them and that you are, have forgiven them and loved them no matter what. Now hear us as we pray together as Jesus' disciples were taught. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The closing song is entitled, Risen.
forth in joy to serve God with all you do. We are sent in the name of the risen Christ. May the God of peace, who raised to life the great shepherd of the sheep, make us ready to do his will in everything, every good thing. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Hallelujah.